Well, the Big Bash finals are here. It is the stars and the heat. Thank you guys for tuning in to another career mode video here. Uh, we've just got our brand new fatigue management sponsor, uh, the Pasta, Faster Pasta, or what was it called? Was it Faster Pasta? No, it was Pasta Variant. Close enough to Faster Pasta. Bring back Faster Pasta, I say. Anyway, we've got a game in two days. It is the, what's the word? The Challenger? No, not the Challenger. The Qualifier. Who got knocked out? The Sixers have been knocked out. Gee, that's a surprise. So the Hurricanes, who almost beat us, Harry Brook, our man who we played so well with at the Canes, uh, was the player of the game there. 3 for 182, chasing down 179. Uh, then the Scorchers will play the Hurricanes to determine who will play the loser of this game. Uh, but let's just get through this one first. We've got the player of the tournament as well, Seb Gotch, in here as part of our side as the Stars take on the Heat at the MCG. The Stars and the Heat at the MCG, batting at number five, Marcus Stoinis opening, Joe Clark, the captain of the Melbourne Stars, having an absolute ripper season. Not quite as good as Seb Gotch, but still a pretty good season. The Heat have won the flip, as they've called flats. Got some big arms on him there, Joe Clark, for a tiny little scone. The Heat have won, they're gonna bat first. Interesting, so where are we chasing? I've got the ball five overs in. Chris Lynn already out. That's a big wicket. Going to keep Duckett very offsided. Yep. So, uh, plenty of protection there for the offside. I'm happy to concede the singles as well. Wait there. Oh, good bowling this. Saw him coming down. Followed him a little bit. My control's doing a little bit of damage to itself yep. here. That's into the gap. Should be uh, maybe two. If you'd have got it, some work to do. Good throw. Good dive. So get back. Jeez, the Joy-Con hit the, yep. the Joy-Con thing. Oh, I should get this. Come on, run it. Run, chase it down. Chase it down, chase it down. Stop the two. Ah! Did we stop the two? I think we did. I don't know why I've bowled it there, because I've got all my protection on the offside. And yet I bowled it quite straight. Conceded the boundary. It was a pretty good over up until that point. It went for eight. Oh, another big edge. Another dot. Surprisingly low crowd in here for a uh, Big Bash final, although... Oh, that's out. Good wicket, that. But I was going to say, but uh, I guess as you have come to expect the Big Bash, it's such a long season, the fans get tired of it by this time of the year. But that's a good wicket. So I'm just doing my best to make it difficult to do that stump him! Come on, keeper. you got to be quicker than that. It's honestly impossible to stump dudes in this game. Because if you come down the wicket like that, not a chance he's getting back. Surely not a chance. Now Jimmy Pearson will face the final ball of the over. It's going to be a dot. So one and a wicket from the over, a very, very good one. The Heat here, 4 for 109. They do not look like getting anywhere near enough runs. And though as we've seen in the past, sometimes, a score of about 140, 150 could be defendable. If you do it well enough. That's a good shot that's into the gap, but just the one. I don't know how you got that that fine. Yep. Oh, now six. So this over from Tom Cooper. He's just started to put the pedal to the metal. Yep. Oh, and an inside edge. That's going to be more runs. I think that's going to be four more. Over gone. Jeez, there's about 20 from it. I reckon 440 is the power surge. And now the Stars, 3 for 71. What a start it's been for them off Joe Clark's 40 from 23. I mean, 88 from 65. Look, it's it's very gettable now from a Stars perspective. It's just about going about it the right way. Oh, doesn't quite find the gap fully. Just the one off the mark, though. Oh, Larkin, what are you doing? Don't play that shot! Even on my team, they played and get out. Silly. Yes. Oh, I've, I've played that shot now. <laughs> I've got away with it. Four for 77. Although, to be fair, I'm not trying to play it with about one degree of width. And I'm glad it hasn't got me out so far. 77 from 55. Michael Neeser with the ball. Short. Pulled. One. Two. They went the wrong end. Oh, that's over the offside. That's glorious. That is very nice. 
So it's four for 105. The run rate required is not very much. Oh, that's a boundary. I mean, not a boundary, that's a wide. <laughs> Don't know what I'm on about. And a single to finish. Four for 106. No, not a second. I thought about it, but no. 107. Wanted to pierce the gap, but unfortunately didn't. It'll be one. Yep. No. no. Good call of no in the end. Normally I would have run my teammate out. I've changed everyone. Yes. Yeah, there's one in that because I'm already halfway down the wicket. Knees at a bowl. It's 23 from 24. I think we've still got a surge as well if we need it. Six. Do it again. Oh, edged and taken. That's disappointing. I would have loved to have finished the game off. But Nisa gets me out. No point reviewing, but I, I believe the Stars are about to go on to win this game, and they do. Hilton Cartwright's 49, superb in going on to do that. But the Stars are through to the Big Bash final. They'll host it here at the MCG. Very, very exciting. Oh, no. I don't want to play this. I, I know I've got national duties, but surely we get the Big Bash final in. I can't even see it on the calendar when it is. But I imagine it's on the Saturday, which we might be able to play because on the Sunday we got that ADI against New Zealand. Surely I can do it. Surely. Anyway, I guess we'll have to play an ODI in Perth. So the Kiwis won the toss. They're going to bat first. I'm going to get the ball at 2 for 96. A run. I just feel like I'm super good with the ball in the short form now. Yep. Oh, that is that is luck. That's what that is, Conway. You have not middled that at all. Edged and in between his legs. <laughs> Gain Williamson is unlucky to get out. The godlike fielding is absurd sometimes from behind the stumps. Out for 44, 3 for 97. I'm happy for him to cut this ball. Because, I mean, I guess that's where I'm trying to get him out, is through the, that cut or the drive that he gets the nick. Like that. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Oh, gee, the keeper had, mo the keeper had moved so far away. I thought he was going to catch that ball before it had even hit the ground. Like, uh, over the top absurd. The one thing I like about this action compared to the uh, the Warney or the Swepson action is you can just absolutely fire the ball in, ball after ball after ball. Like, it doesn't take 50 million years for a dismissal to occur. You must have hit that in the ground. The over. Went back on at 3 for 125. Like, it's just a quicker, smoother action, I think, that allows you that time to really just... Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, am I going to need to feel this? No, the bloke in the deep wheel. Keeps it to one, though. I feel like me running at it put a little bit of pressure on the batsman to not do a second as well. Just knowing that there's someone was really fighting to win the footy there. Yeah, oh, not the footy, the, the ball. <laughs> Wrong sport, Dino. Oh, they want to. They thought about it, then decided against it. Oh, that's close! It turned back in! Yes! Oh, I'm always loving getting an LBW dismissal because you just... It's so much harder to get than a nick. You need him to miss it. You need everything to go right. And this one just flighted it up. It turned back in. He almost got outside the line as well. You can see it's just probably hit him just inside the line of the off stump there. I want to have a look at this on the replay as well. Devin Conway got to go for 23. But let's have a look at it because I feel like this was a very good delivery. It had flight, it had drift, it had turn, and it did everything I needed it to do. All this pitching outside off impact. Umpire's call. Thank you, umpire. We appreciate you. The wicket's hitting the top of off stump. Huge. That is on the list of things you love to see. And that is a single or more, multiple runs as Glenn Maxwell's charging out there to field it. Interesting, Maxwell's in the one-day side, not the uh, T20 side. So I get a couple here. Should have gone bowlers then, too. Oh, there's a little bit of drive on the up about that shot. 
short cover or cover in the game. No, anyways, play that nicely. That'll be four. Four for one, five for 144. Australia just got spin bowling options all around. They got me, they got Labashane, they got Smith, they got Zampa, they got Maxwell. That's pretty much half the team. Can bowl spin. How do you not nick it? Oh, that is Mr. Leg Stump. By not very much. I feel robbed in this innings because I, I bowled nine overs. I got two for 30 odd. And I feel like I should have more. Like, I feel like I should have more wickets to my name. And it's disrespectful that I don't. Oh, like that. Well, not missed chances, but you know, edges or beating the bat. Jump him. Oh, you've got one job. And it's when I beat him, you stump him. Like that, this is what I'm talking about, everyone. This kind of quality bowling that he's not getting the reward it deserves. And furiously, I finish with 2 for 38 off 10. Will I need to bat? I will. I won't need a bat for very long, though. We only need a bat. Oh, I thought we only needed 250. How did they get up to 292? What, what, what happened? 77 from Kyle Jamison and a 60 from Daryl Mitchell. That has got to be the biggest, like, eighth wicket partnership you've ever seen. How did they manage to get to 290? I'm not, I'm not going to let this game last. I will end it before it even begins to begin. We need to run a ball. David Warner's on 81. Surely he's going to help me do the, the damage here. Part-timer Mitchell's on. Yep. Oh, that's a top edge. That's four. Ah, oh, here we go. Runs. Runs, Davey. We're going we're gonna to get these 90 overs in. Let's say six overs, I reckon. Six overs will get them. Yeah, yeah. That's four. Come on, Davey. This is me just thinking about the frustration of not getting wickets. And taking it out on the bowlers. That is six more. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's four. I thought it was going to be progressed. Anyway, 12, 13 from the over. Shot. Four. And again. Not even needing to run. This is the faster past the sponsorship at work. Now they put fielders out there. Oh, that's almost a boundary as well. No, just the one. Would have liked two, but I'll get the strike back. Ten from the over. Oh, that's an edge. Well, that's four. That's a bit of luck. <laughs> that I deserved after all the bowling luck that went against me. Another one. Another edge. And well fielded, actually. That has been brilliantly fielded to keep it to just two. It's 55 from 65. Warner's been stranded on 90 for what seems like five overs. And I'm not quite middling the ball at the moment. But that, because it's a full toss, is going to go all the way. Oh, now mid-wicket goes over the top. And another boundary. It's a pretty quick knock. Unfortunately, like, I'm 37 from 13. I go, I'm batting well. And then I remembered Cummins hit 51 from 15 or whatever it was the other night. Yep. Like an absolute magician. Oh, that has found the tiniest of gaps. And that is the 50 partnership. 42 from 15 is what I've hit. Warner's contributed something. Not sure what. Oh, it's down the leg side. Jamison, who did hit the, the big score of 70-odd. Or mid-wicket. Straight to him. He's not even looking at the ball. He is facing the other way. Look at this. He's not looking at it. He's caught it with the back of his hands. Oh, mate. Get in the bin. Four for 252. Man, we win easily. But absolutely get in the bin. I deserve that player of the game, to be fair. Well, I probably went on to make 90 because he never scored after. No, he did get to 100. There you go. He got 110. And then he hit 20 off six balls. Who would have thought? Anyway, I've, my 42 and two wickets, which should have been about four, got me player of the game honours over. Kyle Jamison's 77 and Warner's 110.
cop that one, buggeroos. I just want to know if we're going to play in the Big Bash final on the weekend. Mm, I don't think we're going to. That would have been on the Saturday. Two days. The Big Bash is complete. Did they win? I want to know if they won. I want to know if they won. It says the upcoming game was on the 31st, which would have been today. I'm spewing. I can't check that. Can I check my teams? Melbourne Stars? No, I can't see what happened. Well, that's just a major disappointment, isn't it? Anyway, we've got another one day off. So we'll get through that stuff uh, before we hit Pakistan uh, in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Apologies we didn't get to do the Big Bash final. Would have liked to, but obviously international duties, the priorities. Um, trying to fly through that one day is to get to, I guess, towards a World Cup or something, but that's a year in a way. There's a lot going on. Anyway, anyway there's a lot happy. I'm going to fall asleep. And it's only 11am. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Goodbye.